Look, you can tell Catherine the... Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. I hope you can forgive my temper. First, my autoloader... Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. I would if I weren't busy here, since you don't seem to be constrained yourself. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Braxton. I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. Oh. In that case, he told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? Reminder, if you let your Sam unit be eaten by wildlife, it voids the warranty. Visitor? What an unexpected surprise! Please, come in. Come in. I, for one, welcome a reprieve from our travels. That is, if you'll have us, kind sir. That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? Excellent. You've arrived at just the right time. My wife is putting the finishing touches on dinner. Please, make yourself at home until it's ready. Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? Are you sure? Because someone came for dinner yesterday. Or a week ago. Wasn't that you? Maybe not. You got a funny way of putting things. I used to be good with words. But it feels like there's this fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? What a pleasant surprise. And just when I was beginning to fear we'd seen the last of good company for a spell. Yet the Eternal provides, does it not? Only if you give yourself over to the plan, Martha. May I call you Martha? By all means, just make yourself comfortable. Company is always a reason for cheer. What tiresome company we'd be, fear not on that account. Besides, I've always believed the Eternal reveals itself plain enough, as your being here proves. Just that your presence here is a gift to us, and one that we don't take for granted. Look at me, prattling on as if this gravy is going to cook itself. Why don't you run along until we are ready for dinner? Entering quiet mode. 
Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? That's wonderful. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. Mama and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. He said they were making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. I don't know. I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. Warning! Sam's specially formulated blood-out fluid remover has been known to eat through flesh. Handle with caution. Hey. Liar. You're trying to steal the last of... Contaminant level to extreme. Warning! Warning! It is unnatural. An affront to the grand plan. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? How very rude. Time to teach you some manners. They come! Much, much worse. Sounds like that. Oh, it does work. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows in salt tuna. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? That's. Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? 